representative of Paranaque City for six terms. Elected in landslide victories from 1992, 95, 98, 2004, 2007, and 2010. With one of the longest record of service in the history of the House of Representatives. In, the last, in this last term, we serve as the head of the House contingent to the Commission on Appointments. He also served as chairman of two key, two key committees, Committee on National Defense and Committee on Public Order. Short background of his education, he has Master in Business Administration, MBA, University of the Philippines, where he graduated class valedictorian. Pinapalakpakan niya. BS major in Mathematics and Operation Analysis. Two major achieved through overloads, United States Naval Academy at Annapolis, USA. Three academic years leading to AP Political Science in the University of the Philippines. He is now the founder of the Pacific Movement. So, pag umaawit uma tayo ng pambansang awit, Di ba? Meron doon, di ka pa CCL. So, member din pala siya ng CCL. Di ka pa CCL. <laughs> CCL, Capital Christian Leadership. Di ka pa CCL movement. One of the three lead convenors of West Philippine Sea Coalition. As such, he is among the vanguards of, in the citizens movement to fight for our sovereign rights in an exclusive economic zone in the face of China's incursions in illegal presence in the West Philippine Sea. To give more time to our guests, brothers and sisters, let us welcome our very own, our brother, Congressman for six years, Roilo Goles. Yung palakpak na walang sakit. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Jojo Gonzalez, for a very kind uh, introduction. Uh, I feel uh, very honored uh, to be speaking before your group, especially considering uh, the five eyes uh, that govern your meetings and uh, your group. Inspiration, intercession, information, instruction, and uh, implementation. And our topic is the South China Sea security situation. And a lot of people are saying, Bakit pa tayo aharap? Napakalaki ng kalaban natin. Dapat siguro, tubiklop na lang tayo. I, I, of course, I beg to disagree. And I remember, about two years ago, in a very big gathering in uh, Coneta Astudo, on this topic, organized by several religious groups, I was struck by the slogan that they used uh, for that uh, forum, and this was their slogan, which I think is very relevant to your organization. Worship, not worship. And I think this is very appropriate. Uh, there is power in worship. There is power in prayer that can dominate the power of worships. Now, I'd like to talk about the South China Sea. And I'd like to invite your attention to uh, uh, the screen here. This is the South China Sea. And uh, the red line is the so-called Nine Dust Line, which is the illegal claim of uh, China on practically the entire South China Sea. And the South China Sea is bordered by China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, the Philippines, and partly by Taiwan. Just uh, to clarify also, because some people get confused <coughs> when they say, when they thought that West Philippine Sea refers to the entire sea. Kasi minsan ginagamit ko South China Sea, sabi nila, bakit South China Sea dapat West Philippine Sea? No, the South China Sea is the bigger sea. And the West, West Philippine Sea is not part of the South China Sea that we own. And that's virtually this exclusive economic zone Ito yung uh, exclusive economic zone lines of the various coastal states. Ito yung sa atin, no? yung blue line na yan, up to here. Ito yung uh, Brunei, Malaysia, Vietnam, and uh, China. 
the West Philippine Sea would be basically this area plus uh, the sea of uh, the Kalayan Island Group, itong area nito. So that's to clarify. Ito yung mga the various countries that occupy the many features of the South China Sea, and you can see from the plaques uh, indicated there what nationalities they are. My personal involvement in the South China Sea or Splatters issue goes back a long way. I was there 1971 when the Philippines uh, was part of a secret mission that landed troops, supplies, equipment, weapons uh, to the islands that we occupy in what was then called Freedom Land, now called the Kalayaan Island Group. It's a picture there, no? And uh, we organized Marcha, Movement and Alliance to Resist China's Aggression. We are referring to five kinds of aggression as uh, territorial aggression, environmental aggression, social aggression, political, and economic aggression. Of course, territorial aggression would refer to the Nine Dash Line because they intrude into our exclusive economic zone, the reclamations that China is undertaking now, and of course, the grabbing of this ship reef and Scarborough Shoal many years ago. The first major move of China into the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone happened in 1994 when they occupied Mississippi Reef by constructing what they call temporary structures, temporary shelters for their fishermen. When we complained about this, they said, don't worry about it, it's just temporary for our uh, fishermen, everybody can use it. And then things quieted down. The government at that time obviously believed the uh, statement of China. But a few years after, 1999, this was what they constructed, permanent structures, from the original small structures to this much bigger structure. I was there during the construction. I flew over the area uh, on board the C-130, and I stood up after witnessing the construction going on. I stood up in the halls of Congress and delivered a privileged speech. This was in 1999. At that time, I said that while they were occupying Mississippi, the ultimate target was Carbono Shore. This was in 1999. Nobody believed me. In 2012, it's Carbono Shore. In 10, in 10 2012, uh, April 2012, they occupied, China occupied Carbono Shore. Some people are asking, why fight over small rocks? But it is lang yan, sabi nila. Well, you may it pwede lumaki, depending on location. I think we all know that, even from practical experience. I can stand on this very small place here, but if I'm using a sniper rifle, I can cover a much wider area, control a much wider area, because that area is very strategic. And you will remember that in the Second World War, the Pacific War was won by the Allies by jumping from one little rock to another all the way to the Philippines and all the way to Japan. Kaya hindi pwedeng sabihin na small rock lang yan. By the way, Scarborough is not small. The area of Scarborough Shoal, the lagoon inside, is about 150 square kilometers, the size of Quezon City. I think you all agree that Quezon City is not small. And you can imagine in that lagoon how many ships they can put there. Imagine how many ships we can put inside the uh, Quezon City. In, uh, on the eve of the Battle of Leyte Gol, on the eve of the invasion of Leyte, Sea Admiral Halsey occupied a small atoll about a thousand nautical miles from Leyte. This was called Uliti. Napakalit, pero tingnan nyo kung gaano karaming bakor na inalagay dyan. Aircraft carriers, battleships, transport ships, destroyers, etc., etc. So you can imagine what a small piece of sea can do strategically. Yan ang uliti, ito yung baho ni Masalok natin. No? China grabs Carbo Shoal in April 2012. Ito, and you can see how strategic this Carbo Shoal is. It is only about 130 nautical miles from uh, the coastline of Sambales. And it is close to our major economic and military installations. Subic, uh, Clark, 
our Calabarzon area here, and of course, uh, all the, uh, and, and Metro Manila. Look, uh, this was a report. Kasi dati, ano yun, the physical area ng mga Pilipino yan. And this is a report by uh, a uh, Japanese TV uh, station on what was going on there, what has been going on in uh, Scarborough Shoal with respect to China's harassment <coughs> of our fishermen there who have been fishing there for maybe centuries. Pasensya na, may, may medyo, merong masamang lingwahe dito, no? Pasensya na dito. Ito, ito yung mga Coast Guard ships ng China harassing our fishing boats there. Nakikita nyo, uh, gumagamit ng mga water cannons. Anyway, hindi masyadong marinig, nagsisigawan na dyan. Uh, ang nangyari dyan, sabi nga nung, uh, nung mga Pilipin Pilipin, lumubog na, lumubog na. So, obviously, meron isang fishing boat na lumubog. At sabi nga ng mga Filipino fishermen, may mga ilang namatay na sila nila dyan because of this harassment by the Chinese Coast Guard. What are they trying to do in the South China Sea? Ito ang assessment namin. Nagkaroon kami ng meeting sa Japan early this year. Thank you. We had a meeting in Japan early this year. Uh, people with the military and strategic background. And we all came to the conclusion that what China is doing is uh, developing a strategic triangle in the South China Sea. The first corner of the triangle is already completed, Paracels. And na, meron na silang runway dyan. Matagal na inoccupy itong Paracels, no? And then the second would be the group of reclamation projects that are now ongoing. Ito yung Pirate Cross Reef, Johnson South Reef, Subi, and then of late, Mississippi Reef. That would be the second triangle. And the third triangle, if they succeed in doing this, would be Scarborough Shoal. Very close to the Philippines. If they complete this, then they have full control of the South China Sea. This is going to be a game changer if they succeed in doing this. And it will affect our security and the security of the region, as well as global security. Now, let's talk of the reclamations. Ito yung talagang game changer nila, no? Ito yung mga reclamation projects nila, uh, seven areas in the South China Sea, one of which is well inside our exclusive economic zone. Tingnan nyo kung gano'n sila kabilis kumilos dito. Look at this. Ito yung uh, Johnson South Reef from a small structure in the middle of waters. Dati tubig lamang ito. Ngayon, biglang naging ganito. Ito dati yung maligna structure, then they covered that in a matter of only about one year. Ganda sila kabilis. Yung mga pamilya sa reclamation sa Manila Bay, yung Manila Bay reclamation na start mga 1980s pa. Hindi pa tapos yan. Ito, sandali lang ito. And ito yung uh, structure na nagawa nila, no? From February to August. February, ito lang. August, ito na. Ito naman yung sa Hughes Reef, Dati puro dagat ito, and look what they constructed here. Ito yung sa Quartero Reef, 2013, dagat, after about one year, ito na, kompleto na, reclamation na lang. And then, uh, Gabon Reef, and of course, the one of the major reclamation projects, the Fire Cross Reef. Ito, tingnan nyo, puro tubig ito. In a matter of one year, ito na kompleto nila. And this is uh, what is very strategically important, this uh, piece of real estate here. Kasi ito, 3,000 meters, about 3 kilometers long, and they have already a runway here. Ito naman yung sa Subi Reef. Subi is also very strategic because it is very close to our Pag-asa Island, which is our biggest island in the Kalayan Island group. Dati puro tubig, and just in one year's time, look, look what they constructed there ito. Dito meron na lang runway dito. And we see free. Ito na sa loob ng ating exclusive economic zone. Under UNCLOS, we are the only ones who have the power and the sovereignty to exploit the natural resources. Ito yung we see free. 
This area is about 35 square kilometers, about uh, one-fifth the size of Quezon City.